U.S. claims portion of South China Sea, China is ready to fighting. The United States military posture in the Indo-Pacific region is eroded due to political infighting, costly engagements elsewhere and other debilitating factors, giving a rapidly rising China the upper hand in the event of a conflict, according to a new report. The University of Sydney's United States Study Center published on Friday a comprehensive, 104-page document entitled Averting Crisis, American Strategy, Military Spending and Collective Defense in the Indo-Pacific that explained how America no longer enjoys military primacy in the Indo-Pacific and its capacity to uphold a favorable balance of power is increasingly uncertain. The report focused on China as a great power competitor identified as a top adversary in President Donald Trump's 2018 national defense strategy. While the U.S. remains widely seen as the world's foremost military power, the combined effect of ongoing wars in the Middle East, budget austerity, underinvestment and advanced military capabilities in the scale of America's liberal order-building agenda has left the U.S. armed forces ill-prepared for great power competition in the Indo-Pacific. Having studied the American way of war premised on power projection and all military dominance China has deployed a formidable array of precision missiles and other counter-intervention systems to undercut America's military primacy, the report found. By making it difficult for us forces to operate within range of these weapons, Beijing could quickly use limited force to achieve a fait accompli victory particularly around Taiwan, the Japanese archipelago or maritime Southeast Asia before America can respond, sowing doubt about Washington's security guarantees in the process. While the U.S. has been largely fixated on open-ended counterinsurgency campaigns especially in the Middle East throughout the 21st century, China has managed to modernize its air and sea fleets and greatly expand its land-based missile arsenal in order to shore up its own ability to defend its interests in another energy-rich region, the strategic waters spanning the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Many of Beijing's goals here conflict with those of Washington. Naval tensions have already risen between the two leading economic powers as they were separately engaged in a bitter trade war wreaking havoc on their bilateral ties and costing both billions of dollars. The U.S. does not recognize China's vast claims in the South China Sea, nor to the self-ruling island nation of Taiwan, which was reportedly set to receive $8 billion worth of new F-16V fighter jets in the latest move to stir outrage in Beijing.
Though confrontations between the two have yet to escalate into violence, Friday's report suggested that China may be able to secure its aims by waging a limited war to retake Taiwan or assert control over disputed islands using not only conventional capabilities but an array of cyber and political weapons as well. The paper found, in all these scenarios, Beijing's aim would be to strike first to secure long-standing political goals or strategically valuable objectives before the United States can do anything to stop it. The U.S. has devoted more money to its defense budget than at least the next seven countries combined and maintained hundreds of military installations across the Indo-Pacific. However, an outdated superpower mindset that regards America's role in the world as defending an expansive liberal order meant the Pentagon may be stretched to thin in Washington too distracted to address a Chinese challenge in time, according to the report.